today's video is Introduction to Chemistry 12. So welcome everyone to Chemistry 12. And uh, I'd like to give you a bit of a clue about what this course is involving. It's really the second part of pretty well any general chemistry course you might be taking in high school, if you're uh, an American student joining us. Anyway, here uh, is the question, where have we come from? Uh, this course presumes you've already taken Chemistry 11, or the first part of pretty well any chemistry course you might take in high school. So here are uh, some of the things you should have a good handle on. Importantly, you should have a good idea of what formulas and names for ionic and covalent compounds are. You should be able to predict, write, and balance chemical reactions. You should be able to do unit or dimension analysis, sometimes called the factor label method. That's important. You certainly want to have a good handle on the mole concept, the huge idea of that introduction in chemistry and stoichiometry, yield analysis. You should be able to handle solutions and solution properties and gases and gas properties. You also want to have a good handle on atomic bonding and, of course, atomic theory, periodic trends, and finally electrons, electron behavior, and some basics of organic chemistry. If you have these things in hand, then you're ready for Chemistry 12. Here's where we're going. Uh, first, we'll start with calorimetry and kinetics. We'll be on to chemical equilibrium system, solubility equilibrium, acid-base equilibrium, acid-base system applications, and finally, we'll end with oxidation and reduction and those system applications. So how does Chemistry 12 start? Well, we'll start with a brief discussion of calorimetry, and that will help introduce the idea of energy entering and leaving a chemical reaction. This energy of a chemical system at constant pressure we call enthalpy with a capital H, but since we can't measure that, we prefer to talk instead about the change in the total energy due to reaction, which is sometimes uh, something we can measure, and that's called the delta H or the change in enthalpy. So there's the introduction. Uh, I'm delighted you're joining us as we dig a little deeper into the structure and content of matter in the universe and its many changes. So welcome to Chemistry 12, and buckle up for the first brief lesson on calorimetry in the next video. Thanks for joining us. Have a look at the next video for more, and stay tuned for our first next lesson, lesson one, introduction to calorimetry. This is my dad's YouTube channel. It's awesome. So like, comment, and subscribe.